Today, I'm gonna give you a tour of my herb and spice drawer, and I'm excited because I have a thing for herbs and spices. Unless said otherwise, pretty much every single herb and spice is from Organic Matters, which is the Canadian website. South of the border in the United States, it's called Essential Organic Ingredients. Amazing prices on herbs and spices, such good quality. So, that's where mine are from. We're gonna open up this drawer, and it is completely, I did not touch one thing before videoing this. This is where my stove is, this is where these are. This divider, I'll link it on Amazon, they're great dividers, it, there's a kind of a spongy part there. I have a few of them. This is single spices and herbs, this is mixes and blends. I make almost all my own mixes and blends. I will link whatever one there's a recipe for and is not just made up. What I'm gonna do, that one's supposed to be over there, is tell you what it is, what my favorite uses for are it for. So let's get going here. Um, this is just a sugar bowl, organic cane sugar, Himalayan sea salt garlic powder. I should also say pretty much every single one of these is organic thanks to Organic Matters making them such amazing prices. You'd think this was sponsored by Organic Matters, but it's not. Garlic powder. This is homegrown by either us or my mom. Chili flakes. Sage. Oh right, so I'm supposed to say here. Sugar. This is because our coffee pot is right there. This is for if you just need a bit of sugar for coffee or something in cooking. Same with salt, garlic powder, I mean just add it to everything savory. Marius puts chili flakes on almost all of his meals and he just shakes them on. Sage, we put in breakfast sausage, it also to me says chicken. This is a smoked sea salt, this is not actually from Organic Matters, this is from Mountain Rose Herbs from forever ago. These are dried leeks, oh it's empty but I have more down below. Um, down below meaning here is where I keep extra herbs and spices. If you saw my pantry tour video, you know that. I have a sister-in-law with a garlic allergy and so I bought these dried leeks and where I would normally use garlic, I use these dried leeks and it works great. This is a nutmeg grater. grater and these are whole nutmeg. Um, nutmeg goes in my donut recipe as well as just other things like muffins or crisps. This is smoked paprika. It is so good. I love to put this on pretty much everything. Meats, potatoes, adds a nice smoky taste. Uh, lemon peel, this is not focusing for me. Lemon peel, I've had this for a while. I obviously don't use it very much. Basil, we use herbs like basil, thyme, oregano, and dill a lot. First of all, they are low-key medicinal. Antibacterial, good for cold, bugs, bacteria, you know, it's just great way to add low-key medicinal herbs that are really just also culinary herbs into your diet. So we put these on potatoes, meat, in soups, all that sort of thing. Actually, out of powder ginger, which is a bummer, but I like to put powdered ginger in baking, um, in my granola. This cloves and allspice I've had forever and I rarely use. When these run out, I'll probably buy them at Organic Matters. Bay leaves go in every soup and stew. And broth, onion powder. My husband doesn't like chopped up onions, so I use onion powder and minced onions instead. Oh, this is a thing of mushroom salt. Oregano, to me, oregano is a lighter flavor that while you can definitely use with red meats, it's also so great with lighter meats and fish. Thyme, to me, is so earthy and great on red meats and potatoes in a pot pie crust. Dill, to me, says potatoes. Potato soup, salmon, Cinnamon, oh, I got more down below too, is we use a lot on oatmeal and baking, on apples. This is actually a cinnamon shaker and my kids put it on apples. I don't know why this flashes on camera, it doesn't flash in real life. 
rosemary. So good. And soups and stews with chicken. Yes. Oh, these are some spent vanilla beans that I need to top up with vodka. Turmeric. Amazing anti-inflammatory. Adds great color to things in soup, in broth. Coriander seed. Um, I often put this in spice blends and such. So good. Cardamom is also like in places where people would often use cinnamon. I use cinnamon. I often use cardamom or ginger. Cardamom, like if you make a cinnamon sugar mix, add a bit of cardamom to it. Put it in a fruit crisp. Put it everywhere. Cumin is not a largely used spice in our house, but um, Mexican cooking, East Indian cooking. Oh yes. Nigella seeds, I honestly have pretty much never used these. I need to. Ground mustard goes in the odd recipe and sauce. Couldn't tell you exactly where, but I don't know, I use it. Tarragon, I bought this. I pretty much never use it. It doesn't speak to me. Maybe you're hearing this right now and thinking, what? I use it all the time. Sumac is also a new one to me. I need to start experimenting with it more. I have not used it very much. Let's see, that's the rest of that one. So we can put these back in here. Everything just fits. Okay, then over here is spice mixes, which almost all of them I have made myself. Um, but except for starting with this one, my sister made this one. It's smoked garlic scape, hot pepper. I think there's mushrooms in there too. I make hot apple cider and this is the spice mix for it. I just mix up the spices in a larger amount and then half a teaspoon to a liter of apple juice and simmers. This is Greek seasoning mix. I couldn't find a small jar when I was doing this from Cheapskate Cook. Cinnamon sugar, which is just simply sugar with cinnamon and cardamom to taste. This is Organic Matters Barbecue Spice. I like it, but it's a little spicy for my kids. My mom just sent me this Freedomberry Farm Hot and Wild Mushroom Salt. This is my thyme mushroom salt, which is on my blog. Um, this is a rosemary mushroom salt rub, which is something I need to get up there too. It's good. Um, Harissa that my mom sent, I don't really use it much. It's not something I reach for. This is the seasoning that we put when we made potato chips. We're still playing around and figuring out. Specula spice. Um, it's what we use for speculas cookies. Uh, this is organic matter seasoning salt. Can't say I'll buy it again. Um, yeah, I make my own for the most part. Herbs de Provence. Ooh, can't remember where I bought this from. It's not something I reach for a lot. It's just about done though. Taco seasoning. This one I kind of wing and do by feel, but I use it a lot. Curry powder. This is from Organic Matters. It's amazing. Um, this is Organic Matters Vegan Broth Powder, and I bought this for using when my mom is here. It's a great flavor enhancer. My infamous ranch dip mix. Garam um, Masala. Again, not one I use a lot. This is a Cajun seasoning mix. It got bumped to the back, but it's good. I should put it more up the front. Italian dressing mix. This one is from... Hmm, can't remember it, but I'll link it below. It's out. I need to make more. Onion soup mix. This is one I make. I'll link the recipe. It's nice to have on hand. What we got in the back here? Oh, an Epicure mango curry. I bought this, guys. I honestly haven't even used it yet. One more at the back. Chili powder. This is from Organic Matters too. Oh, we got one more. It's the last one. Montreal Steak Spice. When this is out, I told myself I have to learn to make it. The pepper grinder and the cinnamon both live behind there. 
And then I get also up here is soy sauce. This is just more things that I use in cooking. Sesame oil, more homegrown oregano, more chili flakes, balsamic reduction. This is bare fat. Tarragon that I grew. I really need to figure out how I love this best because I... Um, this is powdered dried chives, which I mm, can't say if I'll do it again. Oh, some more chili. This is actually empty. I need to figure out what to use this for. I did show this in our pantry tour, but in here is where I keep all the extra spices and big things of oil and vinegar. Um, Homegrown ones are in jars, or extra spice mixes, and all the other spices. There's more down there. This has gotten really disorganized recently, and maybe I need to organize it, but it's not really something I feel like doing right now. Instead, I'm making this video for you. I feel like herbs and spices are a really great low-key way to just help your family's immune system and overall body and circulation and digestive health and mental health and against colds and flus and all these things and adding in hefty amounts of these things is I mean it adds flavor how else do you eat a thousand pounds of potatoes if you don't use a lot of different spices and mix things up and I just believe it helps contribute to keeping our family as healthy as we are